guys, welcome back to another makeup tutorial. Today we have this white admiral inspired makeup look. I was inspired by the game Contrast, which the main character has a yellow, orange, black ombre eye, and the rest of it I went ahead and pieced together. I wanted to do something with white hair, and I wanted to do something incorporating this eye patch that I made like five years ago, I want to say, and it's just been hanging on my wall ever since, waiting to be used. And if you guys are interested in seeing the process in which I went about doing this, then definitely stay tuned, because the tutorial is starting right now. Starting off with a color corrector, I'm going to be blotching that on the skin because I do have a decently good sized red patch on my chin. And moving on to white cream paint, we're going to be putting that all over the face. Now I didn't have to mix this with anything or dilute it with foundation or anything like that and I thought that it was going to be super white, but turns out it actually blended in perfectly with my flesh tone. Now to set it, we are going to be taking a white powder and go ahead and place that all over top of it. This will ensure that it's not going to be wet or sticky or come off or crease throughout the day. And then moving on to the NYX Bright palettes, I'm taking these two shades, one of gold and one of orange, and I'm first starting off with the gold in the top crease and kind of slightly fanning that out and then placing the orange over top. These are going to be transition colors for the eyeshadow that we're going to be using right now. And I'm only taking the black from this little palette. I know that it looks kind of gross, but you know, it's old. And I'm just putting that black on the entire eyelid and fanning that out into the orange and gold shadows that we put on earlier. Now keep in mind, if you do put the black a little higher above where you want it, you can easily go back with the same brush that you use those two pigments on and reapply those. Now going in with this NYX Prismal White color, I'm going and sticking that on the brow bone and fanning those colors out at the top. Also keep in mind, if you blend out the gold and orange too far, you can easily go back with that same brush and reapply. Now for the highlighter, I it's actually kind of hard to highlight white, but I tried my best with these shades and I just wanted it to be a little bit shiny. Time for the eyeliner. Now I'm going and making a wing at the back end of my eye on the outer crease and I wanted that portion to be thick, but the rest of it to be thin because of the eyelashes. Now I'm only placing the eyelash on my left eye. The right eye is going to be covered up. And then I go in with this black NYX lipstick and just apply that over your lips. I'm not doing anything fancy with this. I'm just applying it as is. I'm not blending it out. I'm not smoking it out. I'm not blotching it or ombre it or anything like that. So just go ahead and apply it. I thought that the black lipstick tied in really, really well, especially with the eyelashes and the really dark eyeshadows. And yeah, this actually is turning out to be one of my favorite looks that I've done. So once you have the lipstick set, we're gonna move on directly to the mascara and the eyeliner. So go ahead, do the, you only have to do the mascara on the left eye because the right eye is gonna be covered and then do the eyeliner on both eyes. Once you are done with that, we are jumping right into liquid latex. You will need Q-tips, tweezers, liquid latex, and a glue stick for this. So I'm first starting off by gluing down my right eyebrow because I will be placing latex over top of this right now. Now, I don't show the entire process, but I went and put a couple of layers of liquid latex over top, put the tissue on it, and then went back with more liquid latex to seal that down. Now I do do this in a few steps, but the clawed eye tutorial that I did four years ago, which will be inserted at the end of this video, is a good example of how I went ahead and did this process really more in depth. Now I went back and I kind of tweezed the toilet paper to kind of give it more of an infected look. I didn't want it to look like skin in this. 
and this is the end product. Now we're going old school with this and if you guys have seen my Claude Eye tutorial or my very first Glasgow tutorial from about five years ago, I used lipsticks to go ahead and recreate infections and blood and uh, the oil based lipsticks work really really well for this and this is the trick that I learned when I first started doing makeup because I didn't have any other resources available to me. So I'm going in with a bright Barbie pink and a it's more of like a bright red lipstick just to kind of deepen the wounds on the skin and just wait. Now it's time to deepen them more so. I'm taking a black eyeshadow and sticking that inside of the crevices of this wound to indicate that it is really, really deep. And I'm just sticking some blood on top. Now this blood is better than theatrical blood. This is a blood gel that you can pick up at a Halloween store. I usually wait until Halloween time and stock up on this shit. It is really amazing and it does give your wounds a really deep dimension but yeah I love this stuff so much and I'm just carefully placing it on the parts that I want it to and blotching it on the skin and whatnot just to make it a little more messier and then I'm topping it off with a black zombie gel goo stuff I wanted this to kind of look like an infection out of Resident Evil, so I did just that. And if you get a little bit of extra lipstick elsewhere that you don't want, just go back with some white cream paint and cover it up. Just like my Claude tutorial, I went back with concealer to cover it up. And then after you're done with the wound, go ahead, apply your accessories, and you're pretty much done. Hey guys, so that was the tutorial. If you liked what you saw, then definitely click that thumbs up button for me. There are more makeup tutorials coming your way, and I'm so happy to be back. The creativity has not stopped here on this end. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel because I put out videos all the time, and I will definitely see you guys in the next video. Bye! <laughs>